understands that this lane is... It's not winnable in the traditional sense. You're not going to get killed. Threatening him. Don't want to get hit by the hoof stomp here. So Matumba Man trying to keep his distance a little bit. Universe is not going to try and go for the stun. Telekinesis is now laid down. Now he goes for the stomp. Rocket Barrage is going to be tanked up. A lot of it by DJ. Oh, DJ. He throws down the cogs trying to go for this kill. Matumba Man. Rocket Barrage is actually enough to threaten DJ's life and actually gets the kill. First blood goes to Matumba Man. Doesn't even get hit by the cogs on the way out. Gets the salve off to DJ. A little bit ambitious there. I thought he was just going to trap him in and immediately start hitting the cogs and getting out. Did not expect this one, I don't think. Now the cog's gonna push him a little bit farther. DJ's looking to be able he to go for tower dive for here. He's completely committed, and Abed will help him finish him off with Lance. Heen was just a little bit too late. Yeah, and I think that's what the ping was for. But Envy should know about this 100% of the way through, and with no creep wave, he's just gonna TP out. Are they actually going to find Pilot Die? Look at these guys. Oh, they are going hunting right now. They found the Disruptor, pulled him away from the Creep Wave to make sure the Rocket Barrage gets his full damage out. Meanwhile, as you were saying... Yeah. Can't really make anything happen to bottom. He's going to get caught here. Dragon Form's not going to be much use of him here. Stuck inside the cogs, and again, DJ just seems to be the bane of Kuro's existence. Yeah, Envy going to get the last hit on that as... A lot of damage, no. another Lance, and the Phantom Rush forward. Girl's gonna have to turn around, manage to get off the stun. Gyrocopter is gonna be here. Abed in some serious trouble now as the homing missile is gonna try and chase him down. He's already popped the doppelganger, so he can't get away from this one. Oh, look at that, he's using, he's actually gonna use the rush to get to the neutrals, to get to the high ground. Unfortunately, it's not enough time. He couldn't outreach in that homing missile damage and will still end up dead. That's a cute little play though from that Abed. Very cute play. His game has been quite slowed down. Yeah, what a difference between Universe and Mind Control right now. So enabled by the Dazzle, has actually taken his Tier 1 tower, in part thanks to Kuro's rotation earlier. Centaur Ultimate going off, trying to run down Kuro. The TPs are coming in fast. They need this Dazzle to be able to get here with the Shallow Grave, but not fast enough. Centaur is able to burst him down, and now Heen has been caught out by DJ. Read that Look TP rotation, but he managed to get off the Shallow Grave. Needs to be able to get away from DJ, but the Lance comes in at the last second. Shallow Grave falls. Yep, that's going to be able to grab GH. Mind Control. Seeing if he can protect him, throwing out some axes. Black Cannon, actually, they're just going to go for the Roar kill onto DJ. Look to Abed next. Doppelganger dodges the homing missile, though. He'll be okay with the Siege Wagon still alive. They feel comfortable going for this push a little bit longer. But now, Eternal Envy's Lone Druid is here. Pushing him back with that bear. Kuro tells his team. All right, well, apparently two can play that game. The Lone Druid is just going to be ignored. They're going to be able to take that tower. Good glimpse, but they need a stun. This time around, they'll get it. All right, they had so many stuns to catch mind control. He was not going to be able to TP out of that one. Oh, Abed! Jumped a little far forward there, but Liquid, not feeling comfortable with this engagement, will back away. One second until Universe. Oh, there's nice the hook shot. Nice pick up by DJ. The They're going to go Tumba Man here. Centaur, meanwhile, grabbing the other one. Dazzle's not going to be able to get a shallow grave off. But Tumba Man needs to get away from this bear, but Abed on hot pursuit. Another lands down. Doppelganger forward. Matumba Man trying to turn and fight. Not able to do so. Abed is just too damn big. Level 11 against Kuro's level 9 Dragonite. What was this? DH actually got pulled back there by the glimpse. Another pick off in Liquid. Clumber crumbling right now. The little, the little Snipes it out and that's going to prompt Envy maybe to go back, back. He gets stunned up by the Centaurs. Or G does H. he? Okay, Eternal Envy, you just saw your courier picked up. Please! That is not get ganked like this. Okay, gets a little bit of distance. Delta he is mega dead. Solid. I... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> He has been such a stable core, Blitz Dota. Damn it, Envy. <laughs> GH becomes a little bit too far. Miss Hookshot. GH oh. is going to be able to blink away, but Abed, he already managed to get the Phantom Rush onto GH, so he's going to run him down anyway. There goes the Centaur. Managed to get the stun as well, but they've already blown a lot, including the Static Storm. So Kuro is going to commit this TP in, and my Control is going to come in for the back line. See if he can catch something. It's going to be Pilai Die spotted out in the trees. They do have. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dragon Tail. All right. My Control didn't want to blow his primal roar to stop an attic. They just keep picking on him. They're trying to go for the hook shot right now. Glimpse back inside the tree, so the hook shot's not going to be able to land, but they still manage to get the cogs to jump in for the centaur, as well as the static storm. They've blown everything to be able to grab him, and there's still not quite enough. Kuro's going to be able to live through this one. The urn is not going to be enough either, but maybe a bear roar at him. Oh, not that TP. Kuro is going to go down. Rocket Flare able to finish him off. Now the stop again, catching GH. But Tumba Man, don't complete that TP, friend. That is a death trap, as you can see from Heen. He's had enough clutch glimpses so far. Immediate TP's down to the bottom lane. My control is just going to commit to this one. Goes for the roar TP out, but the centaur had the follow-up TP onto the shrine. This is where you're going to be a little bit uncomfortable if you're not like a core main. You don't know the farm rotations. You don't know, maybe just experience-wise, where you're supposed to go with this. Yeah. Kuro 
Hawk's having his farm being stolen out by a bear. Pop the ult, find GH. Kill after kill going the way of Fnatic. Liquid have not found any sort of five man engagement so far. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. This long druid pick up looks so good against this lineup. Because neither the Dragonite nor the Gyrocopter really can do much to threaten this hero. Or, yeah. or the bear itself, actually. You can hear the pregame talk, Envy said. There's nothing they can do against my hero. Yeah. Yeah, they look hot. Like, when Fnatic looks good, they look good. You smoke up, trying to go towards Roshan, but Roshan is dying a little bit too quickly, and Liquid not realizing what's happening or not. Okay, they're maybe going to take the high ground here. Roshan dies. Are they still going to take the fight? They are. They're going to play on this high ground. Mind control. Going to spot out all these heroes. Goes for the stun actually onto the mind control. They're actually going to try and finish off that bear real quickly, but they don't have enough damage. At least it's not coming hard and fast enough. Eternal Envy is going to be able to get a little bit more distance. Then they're going in and out. And he is actually just running outside the Roshan pit. And now Matumba Man has an Abed problem. Keeps on chasing him down with that doppelganger. Matumba Man has no TP out either. Going to be stomped up. Nice double stomp from Universe. Going to be able to catch Kuro as well, bringing him low with all the nukes. And Abed is just a cleanup crew at this point in time. Him and all those illusions take on all of Liquid. Keen, not even he can escape. Very well done by Fnatic. They fought around the pit area so well. Let's see what they can get. Did he catch Kuro again? And yes, they will. Find him. He has no BKB. GH turns around. Okay, maybe thinking about fighting this one, but this does not look like a good fight. Matumba Man can't do nearly enough damage to threaten Abed's first life, let alone a second life. They're going to be able to go for more here. Pilot die, kinetic field. Blink ahead by GH. Abed's just going to keep going into the base. He goes. Glimpse back by Pylai Die. GH is now in the middle of no man's land. Apparently, Abed doesn't really care. He goes for Heen first now. Able to slow down Matumba Man. BKB going to be forced out. That carry. Not long for this world. My control. Him either. Ultra kill for Abed and a GG from. Give him the rampage. Give him the rampage. They're paying for it. He wants it so bad. They're waiting. Yay! That was a. See, Universe is a good teammate. He had... At the end of it, he was like, this is a 4 protect 1 around a Phantom Lancer, and Liquid's lineup is really adept to being able to deal with it. Not just because of the fact they have the Timbersaw matchup in mid, but they also have a lot of AoE coming oh, out. Dark Will to die at bottom. So already first blood being picked up by GH. Oh, at right, the top? GH with a little bit of double edge. They, you're right, they've caught the Tidehunter. Manage to get the Ice Shards on him, and Eternal Levy with the Shackles early pickup does a lot of damage. No, Missile onto Centaur War Runner, back over to the bottom lane where Universe is quite low, tries to go for the stop, unable to get away. From that. Runs into Universe here, Hoof Stomp, double edge onto him, Pilot die. He's gonna try, he doesn't actually have the Rambles up, just the Shadow Realm. TJ's gonna try and help him out with a Snowball, roll onto GH, and they'll be able to get that one kill. Now it's a question of whether or not Universe can get away. Magic Wand stacks, that's good enough. They're separating the Rocket Barrage, Pilot Die pops the Shadow Realm at the last second here, gets maximum damage on a Matumba Man, and Fnatic man to get away. No. Yep, so that's on me. I was gonna correct you, but then I looked at the tooltip and I was like, wait, yeah. I have swore it chain, and they just didn't. Just so I had the same thought, and then I read it. Yeah. I was like, Dota wouldn't lead me astray. Pilot Die, oh, Snowball, no! Oh. Wait, he can't grab him because he's inside the Shadow Realm. So, not able to dodge the uh, Cold Feet still, though. They are able to kill the Ancient Apparition. Pilot die. They still die as a result, though. The Cold Feet got him in the end. GH going to be able to get the double sum. Matumba Man closing in hot and fast with the Rocket Barrage. The Universe needs to get out of range of that one. Is able to do so, but the Homing Missile will snatch him up here, and he will end up going down. Abed actually making a rotation here. Going to try and run down GH with a Phantom Rush. Needs to get vision of him, though. This is a huge commitment. TP in from Pilot die. They'll get that kill. Like he will just infinitely tank the tower. Shadow Realm, and now a stun. Popped on a curl. Fnatic, they know they want to be able to fight this one. Eternal Emmy managed to get the catch. On to GH, a snowball picks up and makes sure that GH isn't going to be able to get away with a bro strike. Now, Ice Shard blocking in Heen. Looking to run him down in the river is an easy task for Fnatic. Eternal Emmy. He's here for Mind Control. He actually tried to go behind the Tier 1 tower, and now they're going to bring Abed here as well. Mind Control uses every bit of mana he has, realizes he's dead, so GH runs away. Looks like he still wants to go for it. It's Pylite Die. Yeah, if he gets him with the Trakum here, maybe GH with the Tranquil Boots can catch up. Pylite Die going to be clipped by the Trakum. Does have the center haste, but he turned around! Abed tries to harass Kuro back. Meanwhile, top lane, Ravage going down onto the Shadow Shaman with mass TPs coming in. Shadow Shaman's definitely dead. Eternal Envy, his fate going to be spared for the moment by the Snowball, but they're going to run into the Gyrocopter ultimately. Just try and kill the kill on the Tide Hunter, but not successful. 
Seems like both teams gonna run mass rotations all over the place. GH is able to catch by Lai Dai here, homing missile. Bramble out, not enough to kill either Mind Control or GH. Eternal Envy gonna have to do his best to protect that tier one tower, but back over to Kuro, they are gonna go for this kill. Setting up with the stun, Kuro has the Brambles, has to nade through, but Universe is gonna be able to catch up thanks to the stun of Dark Willow, falls up, will stop as well. Is he even But look at this, he just turns on them. He has 17 magic wand charges as well, so he can actually keep on going and see if he can catch somebody here with a Chakram. Thinking about it, throws it out, complete with. Meanwhile, Matumba Man does manage to kill a turn on the, looks like that wraparound at the top lane. Where's this? That bottom lane, they managed to get the Shackles as well as the wards on top of the Tumpet Man. Now he drops his ultimate, as well as the Rocket Prize. They're going to be able to kill Eternal Envy. Trying to run it, run it! What a stun from GH with the Ice Blast! They're going to be able to blow up all of these heroes! Oh no! How much damage to the Tier 3s did you do at 15? Dota is a building based game, honestly. That is true. Okay, you're going to try and go for a Tidehunter. Not so sure about this one, Fnatic. Ice Blast coming in hot. Not going to be able to land on most of these heroes. Just catches Pylai Dime. A Man will gladly take that kill. And here comes GH once again. Able to slow down Eternal Envy with a Burrow Strike. And this looks like a simple rundown. Actually, they're missing a stun. So Eternal Envy, oh, barely really able to get that. away. Fnatic trying to press them back, but nobody really taking damage. You can see now they're going to start harassing the Gyrocopter because harassing the Timbersaw doesn't do anything at this point. His regen is a little bit too high. Who are they going to go for here? Who's important? Go for he. Pops out. They're going to go for it he. Was they're going to try and kill the ancient apparition. He actually may go down with the axe blast. Saves his life. Managed to kill the centaur. And now Eternal Envy in big time trouble. Inside the epicenter. Turns around. Holds up Kuro. He don't care for a damn minute. That is the game. GG from Fnatic. Nice song. The shaman was a bit ambitious. They're like, guys, who can we get? <laughs> one of these tournaments, they're going to have like three players out. And they're going to be like, they'll be able to replace two of them. They'll have one more left. And they're like, guys, we either let Stun be play or we forfeit the tournament. They're just going to forfeit the tournament instead. Matumba Man's taking a lot of damage here. He's trying to kite, but... Yeah, this is Envy. Matumba Man. Oh my okay. god. Uh, what? That is an Ursa that had like 10 stacks. I haven't seen Ursa in a hot minute as GH gonna stun, pick up the DD rune, start fighting DJ who is quite healthy right now, has yeah, both of his health. He's got health. ice shards as well as Snowball. GH is not gonna make it out of here. He's got the fairy fire, but DJ is still gonna be able to run him down. The Visage is really well against the Gyrocopter. All right, they've got the Ursa. This time around with three heroes, they will be able to challenge Eternal Envy and bring him down. Find Yank will fail. But it's still creating space. Look at the CS difference right now between Eternal MB and this Life Stealer. 31 and 12 for the Ursa, 12 and 3 for the Life Stealer. Yeah. The upside, though, is that the other side lanes on Liquid are going pretty well. Universe is a 22 CS, Mind Control at 39. Meanwhile, Curl is at 33, very healthy amount. GH is going to be caught here this time around. No Burrow Strike, but does have a Sandstorm. Sentry is going to be dropped. GH tried to run away. Very good time. Still gonna be caught in the Meltic. Easily be enough to make sure he goes down. He's rotating around as a life stealer. You, whoa, whoa, Matumba man, wake up! Sorry, a little bit too late. Mid lane, caught GH. Again? King. Oh, they're actually gonna go for the snowball. Full snowball onto high. He, excuse me, catching him. Visage familiars. Are you gonna go for the kill onto DJ? He has a cold feet on him as well. They can actually slow him down. They'll be able to bring him down with the drop of the familiars. Now the drop onto the gyrocopter and Kuro. Actually now turning, thinking he can maybe catch Pylai Die, and he's right with a Grave Chill. He should be able to run him down. These familiars are not going to slow down one bit. Trying to get from the low ground, the Rocket Barrage damage onto Kuro. That's not going to be nearly enough to threaten his life, though. Nice double kill for Kuro. He's just behind the gyro farm. I guess in net worth, experience is the big difference. Paralyzing Cast is going to stay onto the familiars. That's going to help Abed be able to get in with the Ice Shards as well. That was perfect. Matumba Man couldn't even get Rage off. Highlight Dice slowed down. They're actually going to try and go for this extra kill on the support here with the new coming in from the Visage. Not quite enough. And DJ is here, but not willing to make the move. Matumba Man was trying to desperately get that open wounds off on Abed. Would have been a huge kill oh, for them. Mind control. Got caught by the Ursa here. Oh, no! He was slowed down enough. Wasn't able to get that one hit required to be able to finish off the Enchantress. And mind control even stops the farmer creep here, but DJ might run into him. But he's gonna get spotted by Heen first. DJ still going for it. He's gonna challenge Heen. Heen stands his ground, wants to push back DJ enough that the Enchantress can come in and they can use this shrine together. But mind control gonna pop that heal early as DJ now gonna get spotted. 
cold feet. He has a snowball. Ice Shard tried to get himself on the other side of it. Doesn't work out. Top of the leaderboards in last hits and denies. Rapidly approaching that blink dagger, about halfway there. There's also going to be the threat of GH, Sandstorm. Holding on to the Burrow Strike as long as possible. Has to find the user to be able to jump away, but the Ice Shards is there to be able to block him out. Didn't Ice have too many options there. Heen going for the deny on the region room. May have just cost him his life. TP out, Abed trying to get the damage in. No chance. They're just running at each other now. His universe can't really do too much early on. Is DJ getting kited? Oh, DJ. Okay, he just dies. And Abed now is in danger of this too. Oh, no, that's he's gonna be vision. caught by all this magic damage now. He does have a TP scroll, he can get away the TP. Oh, oh no! The snowball! They had the vision, they are able to stop that TP just in time. He's gonna try and get as much damage on Abed as possible. Abed's gonna get the last Going hit. down, Universe. Both level 4 at 12 minutes in. And Kuro gonna go for the wraparound, but Universe is right next to the shrine. He's gotta wait for him to go for the high ground first. GH though coming in as well. They need to be- Oh, that Centaur! Great use of the Helmet Dominator from Kuro. Enchantress can also do that for you, potentially, so... Universe gonna be slowed down here by the Grave Chill Curl. He is an operating menace now. This is very different from his Dragonite game. This time around, he stuck around his lane, got his prerequisite amount of farm, Helmet Dominator, as well as that Medallion of Courage, and now he's running around and just killing everyone. Ooh. This could be dangerous. Fanatic. They're gonna afford as well to protect their creeps. That is a pretty cool usage of that one. The Centaur aggressively moving forward here, looking for a stun. Mind control, caught out by the Ice Shards. He's able to maneuver around it, though. They gotta do something about this. They're gonna go for the Siege Creep first. Eternal Envy has to take off the Cold Feet, though. And Rage already being used, and the Tier 3 is almost dead. Ice Shards blocking him, Kuro. Now he does have the Ages, but they're gonna go for this kill anyway. But what a jump in from GH enables Matumba Man to be able to pop out. Goes for the back line, but caught with the black hole. Pilot Dice still letting it go in the back line. It's hit by an Ice Blast. Not dead yet, but Eternal Envy maybe. Impotent Shot's not quite enough. Ooh, Fnatic. They weathered that storm really well. They killed the Life Stealer, and everybody got low, but nobody died. That was so well done by Pilot Die. Woo! He let his ult go on for the max duration, but with Hole and the Wish Doctor ult down, this is going to prompt another high ground attempt on the side of Liquid. Yeah, Kuro's not done just yet. Second life still wants to be able to fight it out. Caught out by the snowball, though. And he will lose his life this time around. Trying to use the Grave Shield to be able to get that extra movement speed. Eternal Envy jumps forward, make sure he does indeed die. Now it's going to be my control. Abed has his sights on him with a Rocket Barrage. They just need a stun. That'll come out from Universe thanks to Malthus. My Very nice ball. is dead as well. That is a huge turnaround. Liquid took a big risk trying to go for the high ground. They did not get that tier 3. Only 135 HP left on it, and now they're only left with a 3,000 gold lead as opposed to the round 5 to 6k they had earlier. He wasn't really much of a threat. And they're pinging him right now. Is Pylite die? Okay, he's going to try and kill Pi here. Universe does not have the black hole this time around to save his support, but Matumba Man has fully committed to this one. Going to be blocked out by the shards. Here comes Ovid with all his magic damage, and Easy Matumba Man has no infest target to get away. Fnatic are confused at that. They're, like, they're going the long way around right now, and they might just run into Mind Control, who would be a huge pickoff. Yeah, he's sitting third in net worth right now. And he has no real way to be able to get away from this gank. The four staff gets a little bit farther, but there is going to be DJ there. Ready to go. Oh, GA Champions come in. Universe backing this one up, though, making sure his teammates do not get countered. GH going to go for a big play here off the epicenter, but has no burrow strike to be able to do anything. So in the end, maybe it's Universe who ends up going down. Kuro comes in from behind with the Vistage Familiars. Now looking towards DJ. Needs the help, though. Heen is going to be able to provide it with the cold feet. Caroline has nice done. It's going to be able to lock down the Earth, but thankfully, Abed to the rescue. Going to be able to take down that core. Matumba oh, Man. Man, you're oh, no, not again. Not again, Matumba Man. You cannot challenge an Ursa. I thought we went over this already. <laughs> he actually goes inside a wounded creep. So they just go ahead and deny the creep real quickly. He pops out and is dead again. And Liquid would really like it against the life. At the bottom, GH gonna go for the stun, but the missile. And a snowball, and a paralyzing cask, and the entire kitchen is taken from Fnatic being thrown at this support. Could it be wise to this gank attempt? Burrow's actually positioning himself on the front lines here, popping the smoke. Fnatic are gonna go for this kill. Looks like DJ went to the back line. GH interrupts them though. Goes for Universe. Loki to be able to get that kill. Looks like the familiar should be able to clean it up. Kuro's still in trouble though. Getting all the heroes on top of this big time carry. But my control in the back line tries to go for Abed. Now threatened by the Urza. Has to run himself away. Meanwhile, Matumba Man and GH have cleaned up the two supports.
And they're Kuro stunning the first time around. And but there's DK. gonna still try and fight this one. Oh, the ice blast, Envy. the pop out, Envy! He pops the enrage, but the damage is still there from the ice blast. It will be enough to be able to get the kill now. A buyback instantly blown. GH, they need to be able to catch some heroes besides the Sand King. They may have gotten him down. Two. Tampa Man up one. next, but he does have a rage. He's gonna be able to dodge the homing missile at the last second. Eternal Envy trying to go for the Enchantress, but Tumba Man is gonna be run down by all these heroes. So he gives up his life just to see if he can kill. Highlight die. Not the case. Not today. With the buyback, though. Fanatic gonna get turned away. Wait for the creep wave. As Envy by himself again. Oh, he gets a little bit too close there. Gets an aggressive ward down. They should know about this. Yeah. yeah, they're peeing like crazy now. Kuro, though. Oh. Oh, his ice shards. That blocks him out. Nice Universe is just going to go straight up for the black hole. So, though. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this? comes in, too. GH comes in. No, three member on strike. This may actually work. Kuro may be dead, but the epicenter is right on top of all these heroes. They've killed two on top of Ben. Another man fight against Eternal Lemmy. This one, he will not win again. Mind control, though. Trying to clean this one up. Infinite shots onto Abed. So a lot of pure damage, and it's enough to be able to get the kill. Pylai die. Close range with Mind Control. Gets the TP. No, that's the night as well. Mind Control just cleaned up all of Fnatic there. That is everyone on the side of Fnatic dead now. The initiation is going to be key here. He's already gotten so many multi-hero. He sees that. Oh, he's going to be able to jump forward. He managed to get the two-man pro strike with the ice blast over the top. The four staff managed to get Abed out of there. And now Eternal Envy pops his BKB, fights up against Matumba Man. Abed having some issues with mind control. That's where Envy needs to be able to go. He needs to be able to make sure that the Enchantress doesn't do a whole lot. Nice use of the ensnare to be able to slow down this bear as he continues futilely to try and run down mind control. And he's going to have to now back up. The jump stun comes in. Universe looking to be able to distract some of these heroes. His Abed's going to be locked down by these heroes. Eternal Envy, he's gonna be able to make it to the back line, but Abed will not. Pylai die. Also gonna be trying to go for staff into the high ground. They spot him though. No miss percentage chance there. Mind control managed to land that shot. They get two of Fnatic, only trading away their Sand King, and back into the Roshan pit they go. You see against all their heroes. Yeah, that's true. Oh, aggressive jump in. They had another infest, but Universe was able to get away thanks to a Glimmer Cape. They're still gonna try and catch these heroes though. Familiar's coming in hot, paralyzing cask is gonna be able to slow him down. One drop, two drop, Pylai die is going to die here. Oh, maybe more actually. GH goes to the back line, managed to catch DJ. He's gonna slow him down enough. He's not gonna make it out of here either. It's gonna be two supports down. Unless he made to oh, make the blink. a brilliant blink TP play. Very nice. He is out. Pi though, had to die for the rest of his team. Now. He's gonna show mid and his team is gonna wrap to maybe follow him through this. Yeah, they should Did connect they to their fire. gyro. And they know the birds are there too. They just might be able to catch somebody they, here. They're gonna Our find lefty. the angle. The smoke is gonna be able to pop. The ice shards they managed to catch it. Carl, this is a really big pickoff of the paralyzing cast controlling up the uh, familiars. They are gonna be able to take that. They take down the tower. They should continue to Epic pressure this center from the Epic. going out. Here comes a burrow strike. They're going to try and blow up. Oh, the gyrocopter. I mean, it's going to force. There goes the black hole. Controlling up the two cores, and they're going to be able to take them down. Them down. No buybacks on either one of them. This means it's entirely up to Kuro to fight back against Fnatic. And if Fnatic, if they know about this, if they just keep on pushing, what? They might just be able to, I don't know, at the game, the top lane of Rax. Liquid thought they were going to crush that fight. Like, we're going to go for the yeah. buyback. Unexpected epicenter. They have no idea of this. We're going to blow up Abed. They move him away in time. Universe comes in over the top. This is going to be two sets now. And a second ago, it was a 7k gold lead for Liquid. And all of a sudden, that that graph is going to look sick. They could catch and they're showing course. Twilight Die right now in the top lane. Somebody may be lulled into a false sense of security, and that's GH. Tried to deal with the mid lane. Caught in the act. That's going to be the gem, too. Gem and 60 seconds on the clock for a Sand King, their primary initiator and their only vehicle for the Life Stealer. All right, Blitz, we've seen a lot of game ending Divine Rapiers. I'm just going to put that out there. Do you think that's a pickup? Oh, GH jump in. Done. He missed this. Oh, no. And jump back out. from Envy. So fast. And now Universe tries to come in with the BKB Black Hole. Misses entirely. GH, he's going to be the target here. Pro Strike up in one more second. Looks to be able to get away with the homing missile. Stops him in his tracks. Universe wants to re-engage all of Liquid, trying to go for the full retreat. Ice shards block in, not able to land it. Look at the way that they're positioned right now, completely spread out. So smart. 
Yeah, they're making absolute sure. BKB, are they just gonna go for a solo black hole on an Enchantress? Yes, they are. The Ice Blast is coming in, but Mind Control's already dead. Now here comes the buyback. They've already blown out at least the Enigma. Eternal Levy with a BKB in rage. That is wearing out real fast. He's got to get out of here. Paralyzing Cast, gonna be able to control up Matumba Man. Highlight the best save, Matumba Man. What a jump in from GH with the Refresher Shard. That is a beautiful Burrow Strike that finishes up the rest of Fnatic. It's just DJ on the Lamb. Familiars are looking to be able to chase him down to make this a full five-man wipe and put Liquid in a position to be able to force all of the buybacks. Waiting on their Ursa, they don't want to use all of their buybacks. And because of the Octarine core, Universe almost has... But a jump in his back line, the Gyrocopter's almost dead, a force staff tries to get him a little bit farther away. What a beautiful snowball. DJ protects his carry a little bit longer. Now the BKB active, Ahmed trying to get away. Careful of my control though. The infinite shots are so dangerous. Matumba Man, he's got a Maledict on him. Somebody save Matumba Universe Man. Universe comes in, Black Hole, he actually locks down the Vistage. And look at the back line, Envy, he's actually locked down the Enchantress. They've got the big damage dealer and he's dead. Universe, he's gonna die though for the Black Hole. Matumba Man, he's gonna be up next. Infestor's up in two seconds. Oh, what an episode! GH! He's coming in big! Damn the damage dealers! It's Kuro and GH together forever trying to win this game for Liquid! Universe pushed back on the side of ice on him, but DJ comes in a big walrus punch up to the Visage to take him out. They have a buyback on him, and they've already bought back on Matumba Man. So everyone buying back. Liquid want to end this game right here, right now. They just want to make it creeps. But now it's a four versus four with the Witch Doctor coming up. 25 seconds on this gyrocopter. They might just go for the tower and back out. There's still a Roshan for them to go to. Kuro's University, he's got Black Hole. Away, but Black Hole already locked down onto the Vistage. But Man comes in, gets locked down with the Black Hole as well. Snowball follow up, and the Vistage familiar is down. But here comes GH with the Amazon once again with the Ice Blast. They're going to be able to take at least one for staff. Universe is able to get away. G8, DJ. Oh, what a nice Ice Shards. Up into the high ground. That was beautiful. In a clutch scenario, every hero needs to be able to live in these fights. DJ does just that. So they trade one for one with Black Hole used, but it's enough for Fnatic to be able to buy more time. And Liquid, they don't want to just walk up into a Black Hole. They've done that before. Envy now going to test man. the waters. He's going to poke his head out a little bit, but Liquid are not going to go for that. They're going to go for objectives. The I don't billiards. even know if Fnatic cares about this. Taking on the racks right now. Universe is smoked up. He's the man to watch here. The two initiators, Universe with his black hole and GH with potentially double epicenters as well as the Scythe of Ice. They're just going to send Kuro with his Aeon Disc up here first. Fnatic, they're going to be forced into a jump soon. Universe pops his BKB Black Hole onto the Vincent from the Aeon Disc. We talked about it. It's going to be able to stay alive for a little bit longer, but he still ends up going down. GH makes his initiation. Epicenter number one with a burst strike through a lot of these heroes, but Matumba Man, he is able to win the man fight up against the Earth in the back lines. Ahmed, huge shots coming in after another. Mind Control gets a double kill. No buybacks on three members of Fnatic with an Aegis on the Life Stealer. He'll come back in, and Fnatic have lost this game. They've lost the series again. Gets liquid and he they are screaming. Hyped. They are going insane. They can't believe it themselves. They